What if I told you your mind could be upgraded like a smartphone? The next 10 minutes could change how you see the future forever. Welcome people of Earth, let's talk about the future. Not the far-flung flying car future of science fiction cartoons. If you're fascinated by the future, make sure to subscribe or keep watching, this journey is just getting started. But a future that is knocking on our door right now. We stand on a remarkable precipice, a moment in cosmic history where biology and technology are about to shake hands in the most intimate way imaginable. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is a power that sounds deceptively simple, but its implications are nothing short of revolutionary. I'm talking about the fusion of the human brain with artificial intelligence. This isn't just about giving us a calculator in our heads. It's about fundamentally rewriting the source code of human consciousness, augmenting our biological minds with the limitless processing power of a machine. The bridge between these two worlds, the technology that makes this leap possible, is what we call brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs. These devices are the conduits, translating the electrochemical language of our neurons into the binary language of computers and back again. For years, BCIs have been developing in the medical field, performing miracles like allowing paralyzed individuals to control robotic limbs with their thoughts. But we are now standing on the precipice of a new era, where this technology is poised to break out of the lab and become an enhancement for all of humanity, offering a direct upgrade to the most complex object in the known universe, your brain. To understand why this is so profound, we have to look at our own history. For millennia, human evolution has been a slow, grinding process, a game of chance played out over countless generations. Our cognitive abilities, while remarkable, are the product of a different time, shaped by the pressures of surviving on the savanna, not navigating the complexities of the digital age. We are running ancient software on biological hardware that hasn't had a significant update in 200,000 years. Our brains for all their brilliance have hard-coded limitations, they are prone to cognitive biases, emotional reasoning, and a frustratingly narrow bandwidth for processing information, but perhaps the most significant and universal flaw, the one that impacts every aspect of our lives, is the fallibility of our memory. So what is the foundational superpower that an AI brain fusion would grant us? At number 10, it's the complete eradication of this flaw, perfect total recall. Think about your own memory. It's a bit fuzzy, isn't it? It's not a high fidelity recording. It's more like a watercolor painting left out in the rain. Each time you recall an event, you aren't playing it back. You are rebuilding it and details get smudged, facts get distorted and entire sections can go missing. It's a creative but deeply unreliable process. Where did you put your keys? What was the name of that person you just met? What was that brilliant world-changing idea you had in the shower this morning? It's gone, lost to the ether of a mind that is designed to forget. This isn't just a bug, it's a feature of our biology, meant to prevent information overload. But in a world defined by data, this biological necessity has become our greatest intellectual handicap. An AI brain chip could change all of that. Imagine a cognitive co-processor working in silent partnership with your organic mind. Every sight, every sound, every thought, every sensation could be captured in perfect lossless detail. This would be far more than just storage. It would be an active, intelligent system, transforming your memory into a perfectly organized, searchable, and vivid digital archive. You could mentally query your own past with the speed and precision of a search engine. You could relive your first kiss, not as a hazy recollection, but with the full sensory input of the actual moment. You could settle an argument by replaying a conversation, complete with an audio transcript and emotional analysis. The implications are staggering. Education would be revolutionized. A student could master quantum physics or learn a new language simply by downloading the information. Expertise in any field could be achieved in a fraction of the time. A doctor could hold every medical text ever published in their mind, cross-referencing symptoms in an instant. A lawyer could recall every legal precedent relevant to their case. Of course, this power comes with its own dark questions. What would it mean to be unable to forget a trauma? Would we need a mental firewall? A way to curate our own past and delete the memories that are too painful to bear? The ethics are as complex as the technology itself, but there is no denying the power. Perfect Recall isn't just about finding your keys, it's about creating a new foundation for human intelligence, a permanent flawless memory that would serve as the launching pad for every other superpower on our list. Coming in at number 9, we have a superpower that literally changes how you perceive reality. Sensory Expansion 
Your eyes see a tiny sliver of the electromagnetic spectrum we call visible light. You can't see Wi-Fi signals, radio waves, the infrared heat signature of the person sitting next to you. At number 8 on our countdown a power straight out of science fiction, thought to text, or digital telepathy. Communication is a cornerstone of our species, but it's a bottleneck. A BCI could bridge that gap to a device, to another person's BCI. Our number 7 superpower is one that would, honestly, shatter cultural and geographic barriers, the instant mastery of any language. Enjoying these mind-blowing possibilities? Hit subscribe and like to stay ahead of the curve. There's even more shocking tech coming up next. For most of human history, language has been both a unifier and a divider. But imagine this, a BCI connected to an AI translation engine could eliminate that barrier entirely. At number 6, we have a superpower that's less about enhancement and more about restoration, restored mobility. Every year millions of people lose the ability to move due to spinal cord injuries, brain-computer interfaces offer a key to unlock that prison, creating a digital nervous system that bypasses damaged pathways. Breaking into our top 5, at number 5, a superpower that could unleash a renaissance of human creativity. The ability to manifest your imagination directly into digital form. Every artist, musician, designer, architect knows the frustration of the translation gap, a BCI could eliminate that gap. Before we reach for our final superpowers, we must pause for a dose of cosmic perspective and caution. Looking down upon our fragile world, we can appreciate the immense journey that led to this moment. For eons, evolution was a slow, blind process. Now, a species is poised to seize the controls becoming the architects of our own minds. This is a threshold unlike any other in human history, a power that demands a level of wisdom we may not yet possess. The stakes are not just progress but the very definition of our humanity. This journey into cognitive enhancement is not without its deep and chilling shadows. The human brain is the most complex object in the known universe, an intricate network creating our reality and identity. To introduce a synthetic interface into this delicate ecosystem is to tamper with something we barely understand. What are the long-term neurological consequences? Could we inadvertently erase memories, alter personalities or create new forms of mental illness? The promise of heightened intelligence could be a siren's call, luring us towards a fractured consciousness or a catastrophic system failure. The price could be our very sanity. Then we confront the most divisive question, who gets these brain chips? Will they be available only to the ultra-wealthy, creating a new biologically enforced class system? This isn't just a faster car, it's a fundamental upgrade to the human operating system. We risk a world where society is split into the enhanced and the unenhanced, a divide more rigid than any before. Imagine a future where the cognitive elite operate on a plane of thought inaccessible to the masses. How could democracy function? How could we speak of equal opportunity? This technology threatens to cleave humanity in two. Beyond the societal schism lies an even more intimate threat. Your brain is the last bastion of true privacy. But what happens when your thoughts are data, flowing through a network, when that final sanctuary is breached, our innermost world could be stored, sold and analyzed by corporations. It could be monitored by governments, creating a surveillance state of unimaginable scope. Could your thoughts be used against you? Could they be hacked, not just to steal information, but to implant new ideas, subtly altering your beliefs? When the firewall between mind and machine is gone, individual autonomy and free will begin to crumble. We have journeyed through a universe of possibilities, glimpsing a future where biological limits fade. We've imagined perfect memory, not as simple recall, but as reliving cherished moments with perfect clarity. We've conceived of creation at the speed of thought, where art and entire worlds flow directly from imagination, unhindered by physical tools. This is a cognitive renaissance. The neural networks wrapping our globe symbolize more than data, they represent a shared consciousness, a fabric of interconnected thought and emotion. This allows us to understand each other with unprecedented empathy and collaborate on a scale never before possible. We are on the verge of becoming a truly global mind, a symphony of human experience playing out across the planet. The development of AI brain chips is not just another step in technological progress, it is a turning point in the 4 billion year history of life on Earth. For eons life has been shaped by the slow, deliberate march of natural selection. Now, for the first time, life is poised to consciously and deliberately adapt itself, to rewrite its own cognitive operating system. This is not like the invention of the wheel or the printing press, 
which were external tools that extended our reach. This is a fundamental alteration of the user, a direct intervention into the very source code of our being. We are transitioning from being characters in the story of evolution to becoming its authors. This is our Apollo moment, our next giant leap. The Apollo program was more than a technological feat, it was a beacon of hope, proving that even the most distant dreams were within our grasp. It united millions in a singular audacious goal. Today we stand before a new frontier, one that resides not in the vacuum of space, but within the intricate universe of our own minds. Our voyage is inward, a deep exploration of consciousness itself. The challenges are immense and the ethical terrain is uncharted, but the potential reward is a leap for humankind that could dwarf that first step on the lunar dust. It is a launch into a new state of being. The future is not a destination we arrive at, it is a reality we create. It is not a pre-written script, but a block of unformed clay, and our hands, now augmented with unimaginable power, are the ones that will give it shape. This bestows upon us a profound responsibility. Every choice we make, every ethical line we draw, every value we embed into this new technology, will define the world our descendants inherit. We are the architects of tomorrow. We must be sculptors, artists, and humanists, working together with wisdom and foresight to build a future that is not only technologically advanced, but also profoundly human, equitable, and just. We stand at the dawn of a new human era, ready to write the next chapter of our story not just on Earth, but perhaps one day, among the stars. For millennia, we have looked to the heavens bound by the limits of our biology. Now we are forging the key to that cage. By merging with our own creations, we are not just enhancing our intelligence, we are preparing ourselves for the immense journey ahead. The dream of interstellar travel becomes a plausible destiny. To comprehend the universe, perhaps we must first expand the mind that perceives it. This evolution of consciousness might be the very key we need to unlock the final frontier. The cosmos is waiting. Ready to unlock your potential? Subscribe, watch our next video, or drop a comment below with your wildest brain chip idea.